Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Lovecraft, and we are playing on the Riverdale Realm series today. That's right, we're back on the Bedrock Realms. In the last episode, we made a gunpowder farm, and we made a little rocket shop in between episodes. And look at that, guys, we have pretty much sold out. Uh, and you know what's super cool? Uh, there's actually, oh my goodness, we got a lot of diamonds coming in. Oh yeah, we're out of stock almost. Well, uh, we got a few more rockets of our own in our little rocket box, uh, but we got a nice, cool 33 diamonds from this little shop that we put up. Uh, however, there is a brand new shopping district, and uh, we're going to need to head over there and uh, check it out uh, and see what's for sale, uh, because we need to open our very own shop today. That's right, we talked about going to the end in the last episode. So we are probably gonna open up some kind of end base shop where we sell elytra and shulkers and things like that because who doesn't love those uh, end game products? Uh, so let's check it out. Wow, it's looking a little bit more flowery over here with some cactus and oh wow, a little diorite hut with, uh, oh, it's a farm. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Looks like the uh, mountain uh, excavation is coming along. A little uh, outhouse over here, it's nice, it's nice. So let's jump into the nether and find the shopping district. All right, uh, we got the end base that way and it looks like this is the shopping district portal. Let's head in and see what's for sale. Okay, okay, not too much going on here yet, not too much. Uh, we got uh, Blocks R Us, it's open. All right, let's check it out and see what they got. Let's see, we got some sand. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some sand eventually. We got some gravel, okay. We got some stone and some concrete. Oh, we got concrete, concrete shop. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna make a nice tile board floor with that. All right, sweet. Uh, we got another little cute little shop over here. Really like that design actually. Reminds me of my uh, turtle shop a little bit. All right, cool, cool, cool. I uh, don't know what they're selling. Oh, okay, we got books, useful. Totems of Undying, nice. Uh, 10 diamonds for that. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, potions, we got a, a stick in there. I don't really know how much the potions are worth. Probably buy those uh, water breathing ones if we ever find an ocean monument. I don't know if we'll ever make a guardian farm. Or did that in the last series. It takes forever. All right, guys. Well, um, yeah, we could probably put a shop over here or something like that. Uh, that would be pretty cool. But uh, before we open a shop, we need something to sell, right? So it is time to get geared up and head to the end. All right, so we're back at the little uh, roofless base that we got going on here, which we need to fix soon. But uh, today we're opening a shop, so maybe we'll get to that in the next episode. All right, well, uh, today we are going to head to the end, so we need to make sure we are prepared. Uh, we have our box here full with a bunch of junk and a bunch of uh, storage, which is mostly what you need when you go to the end is storage. At least uh, once, once you get a little bit better at uh, fighting and uh, yeah, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so once you get a little bit better at fighting the, the shulkers and stuff, uh, really you just need some decent armor, a pick, uh, a looting sword is going to help us a lot to get those shulker boxes uh, because they can ha they have a higher chance of dropping multiple shells. I think they max out at two though, uh, so the best uh, the best drop we can get from those is two boxes per sword swing. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, they don't always drop, so uh, hopefully we will get lucky. Uh, other than that, you just need food, lots of backup rockets, and I like to bring a backup pair of wings. Or if you have a uh, mending on your wings. Uh, you should be good, and we finally got mending and unbreaking on our wings. Uh, we had to buy those from from some fellow uh, fellow realm mates. Um, but yeah, uh, rockets, food, armor, bow, looting sword. It's pretty much all you need. Uh, you can take a lot of other stuff as well, like water buckets and scaffolding. I got a little bit of scaffolding just in case. And uh, yeah, that kind of stuff just to help you. Everyone's different. Everyone likes different things. Me, personally, I don't really wear a chest plate very often, uh, so we're gonna skip out on that. Uh, but uh, we're just gonna get this junk out of, sorry, the litter on your house. Um, but uh, yeah, time to head to the end and get a bunch of goodies so that we can get some stuff to stock up a super cool shop. All right. Well, uh, I haven't been to the end in a while, so it's gonna take me just a minute to find it. Well, I am pretty sure this is the end portal. Uh, well, the, the nether portal to get to the end portal, so let's, let's see. Well, it sure looks like it, uh, so I guess we could set our spawn. Uh, fortunately, if we find some more elytra, we'll be able to uh, put it in our ender chest and spawn right back here just in case we die. 
Uh, so that's another little pro tip for you. Uh, but uh, yeah, ooh, look at that. Time to head to the end. All right, well, we're pretty much prepared. Uh, what could go wrong? Let's jump in. All right, so it looks like we have the one end crystal right now. Uh, so we are going to head up there. Well, I guess it's a, what is it, a nether ender portal? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> let's uh, let's head up there and see where we end up. Uh, hopefully it's somewhere good. We have been here once before, but it's been a while. Okay, not, not completely terrible. Not too bad, not too bad. So the thing about realms is, uh, well, the, the render distance kind of sucks, so uh, <laughs> it's going to be very dangerous. As you can see in the top left corner, we have our uh, coordinates showing, and that's super important when you are flying around in the end, especially when you're flying over the void, and uh, you just kind of uh, hope that uh, you're not going to run into, uh, you know, uh, death. Uh, so uh, we're going to just fly and hope for the best, wait for these islands to render in, try and check out the, the whole of the island, uh, one of the other things about having uh, your coordinates pulled up is that uh, you can kind of track and make sure you're not going in circles, uh, which can happen uh, when you don't have like a ton of stuff loaded in. Can't tell where you've been uh, most recently. Uh, and, and if you search the entire island, uh, you just want to make sure you don't get turned around and go back the same direction. But uh, as you guys can see, we're going through rockets pretty quickly. Uh, and I'm sure everyone else is as well, uh, which is why the, you know, Rocket Shop has done so well. Well, we're gonna keep on flying until we find an end ship. Uh, hopefully we don't die. Yeah, it's getting sketchy. Uh, <laughs> I hate flying over the void and nothing renders. Uh, but as long as we don't go below uh, Y level zero, we should be fine. Uh, it just can be a little disorienting at times. And if we run into the side of an island or, or a forest plant, yeah, we might be done for. So we're just gonna keep on flying until we find something cool. Well, it looks like we found an end city. I don't think there's an end ship here, unfortunately, but I did see a shulker, so I believe... Oh, nope. Someone's definitely been here. So, we're gonna snatch up some end rods, maybe clean up a shulker or two, and uh, keep on moving, because uh, we don't want to waste too much time. Uh, but it is a little bit easier to collect end rods here if, uh, yeah, the shulkers are al already dead, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, it might have even been me who found this one, to be honest with you. Don't know. Um, but uh, you can see there's definitely... Oh, I don't know, maybe. There's definitely some shulkers here. Well, let's uh, kill this guy. And we got a shell. Uh, at least he dropped a shell. I think it fell all the way down there. Oh yeah, it did. Well, we're gonna be careful. Uh, I think we have feather falling on, so it shouldn't take too much damage. So, I can tell you already that this room down here is going to be a little dangerous if the shulkers are still in there. We should have one there, there, and on one of these two corners. Uh, so there's quite a bit of uh, crazy fighting ahead of us. So, uh, let's just, uh, let's just do, let's just do it. We're going to jump right in and whack these guys. Hopefully they can't hit us from here. Alright, we got one. Wait for the box to open. There we go. We got two, haven't even taken a hit yet. Oh yeah, famous last words. All right, uh, and it sounds like there is one teleporting around, so he probably saw us kill his friends and dipped out. I don't know if that's how it works, but it does in my mind. All right, well, uh, let's see. We got two shulker shells. Oh yeah, none over there, uh, but uh, we got a few sitting down there. We're already up to four. That's two boxes, guys. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's check these chests. There's usually some pretty solid loot in them, uh, plus, uh, you get you get a free little ender box out of it, so, like, so that's nice. Well, it's nice ender chest. I know what I'm talking about. Pro Minecrafter, come on. Uh, yep. Oh, there's some, there's some really good stuff in there. And uh, this chest, ooh, two diamonds. That's right. And we still need gold, so we're taking it. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's probably going to be it for the loot in this in this uh, this area. Well, if no one's been here, there's almost always a shulker on the uh, entrance to uh, each of the rooms. So let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, he got us, and we've taken our first hit. Uh, so now we're floating. This part sucks. You used to be able to go into fly mode, and it would just drop you down, but fortunately, it's no longer a thing. Uh, some people like to get chorus fruit. Oh! Me, personally, I prefer ender pearls, but uh, we don't really have any of those yet either. Uh, luckily, we are in the end, so we can get a bunch of them pretty easily. All right, so we've come to one of my least favorite rooms. Uh, these ones are really hard because, uh, well, you just get floated a lot. Uh, so I usually take out a couple with my uh, bow, 
even though I don't like to do that just because you lose the opportunity to uh, utilize your looting. Uh, so sometimes I'll just like take them down with uh, my flame bow, that guy just disappeared. Uh, take them uh, down a couple hit points uh, just so that we can swoop in with the, uh, the looting kill at the last second. Uh, and uh, before we head down there, we're gonna, oh snap, check out the loot. And we got some iron, not too bad. So now we should be able to float down there. Oh, nope, there's one guy left. Might be able to get him with the sword here. Almost, all right. Well, I'm gonna finish these guys up. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and get all of those shulker shells Could that have uh, kind of accumulated on the floor there. Well, we pretty much raided this entire end city. Uh, there might be one or two shulkers left uh, floating around, but we did get eight shells out of it. Well, eight boxes, 16 shells, two diamonds, couple uh, resources, and a really good chest plate. So it's time to move on. Well, we found a big boy. Oh yeah, this one's got an end shift and everything, and I don't think, nope, definitely hasn't been raided. Uh, well, there's still a dragon head, so we'll get that guy first, why not? Uh, end rod, get that out of the way. I like to do this and just crouch over the edge. Got it. Don't always get it that way. Sometimes it falls away, but you know what? That's fine. It's just a dragon head. There's a bunch of them. Every time you find an end ship, you get one. We'll grab that stuff, some potions. Should be a guy down here we gotta fight. Yep. Cool. He's dead. He's got some wings. And we got a shovel, Curse of Vanishing. Almost a perfect shovel. Uh, yeah, no mending, but it does have Curse of Vanishing. We'll grab the saddle. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Sharpness, fire aspect, and a Fortune 3 diamond shovel. Pretty good stuff. Take the end rod. All right, moving on. So we're just gonna clear this guy out, just like we did the last one. I just wanted to show off the end ship to you guys a little bit. So we are just gonna kind of, uh, you know, uh, whoa, uh, just keep on doing our thing until we got a bunch of resources. Uh, we're probably gonna collect some end rods and, and, and uh, chorus plants and stuff like that. Maybe a few of the blocks, I'm not really 100% sure yet. Um, but we do wanna sell a bunch of stuff from the end, so why not? We'll see what we can get. And I'll be back with you guys uh, in just a minute when we are uh, in the overworld, unless we die. And we'll talk about that. Well, we had a successful end raid. Oh yeah, but as you can see, we have no armor on and we have an ender chest on the ground. Nothing in our inventory. So it's time to do everyone's favorite part of the end. Jump off the edge and go into the void and die. Goodbye. Well, that was fun. All right, time to head back to the shopping district. Well, I guess we should head to the base first and kind of uh, go through everything that we got and get it ready to sell. So you guys, we got a ton of good stuff. Let's check it out. Uh, so here in this chest, we have pretty much all of the really good stuff that we found. We found 36 diamonds. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, pretty sweet. Uh, we also got four elytra. We're probably gonna keep one of those uh, in our uh, ender chest just as a backup, but we got three to sell and that's pretty solid. Uh, we have all these shulker shells. Uh, we're gonna actually sell all of those. Uh, we're probably gonna keep these potions and all the random resources and stuff. So we got three elytra to sell and a bunch of shulker shells. Uh, we also have a ton of blocks here that we're gonna sell for pretty cheap. Uh, we're also going to be selling end rods and chorus flowers, and we're going to be giving away some chorus fruit for free, because uh, why not? And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much everything that we're going to sell in the shop. Uh, we also got, you know, obviously a ton of really good gear, uh, just what happens when you end raid. Uh, so we got all of these uh, pretty solid stuff. A lot of them have curses on them, so that's unfortunate. I think we got a really good pick, though, somewhere. It's like uh, Fortune 3 and the, yeah, something, I don't know. Yep, there we go. Fortune three, unbreaking three, efficiency five. Check that out, all it needs is mending. And I think we even have one with mending. Yeah, so we could make a perfect pick that way. Uh, we'll put that there and put that there. Pretty good shovel and we'll keep that on our hot bar. And uh, we actually have this really cool sword. Uh, unfortunately, it's Bane of Arthropods, but whatever. Uh, we are actually gonna have to go fishing for just a second and get a couple more levels so that we can combine it and make it looting three and mending. I think it's gonna cost us 11 levels and uh, we need to, yeah, get a few more. Uh, so if we do that, yeah, 11. So I'm gonna do some fishing and we're gonna upgrade the sword. And uh, in between episodes, we actually uh, made a deal. We sold an elytra 
and uh, got a couple netherite ingots out of it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, we should have a pretty, pretty sweet sword in just a second here. And then we can go open up our very first shop. Oh yeah. Well, after a little bit of fishing item collection, well, nah, just a little bit, uh, and uh, combining of tools and netherite and good stuff like that, we now have Spider's Bane, the epic sword, the epic netherite, shiny purple sword. We have the Gravel Smacker. Oh yeah, so we got Silk Touch, Unbreaking, and Mending on that. Uh, and we also have Lava's Fortune. Oh yeah, we got a brand new set of tools, and we've also uh, finished the shop. I know, yeah, I didn't take you guys along for the ride. I'm so sorry, but uh, it, it is done. Uh, check it out, we got some nice little uh, window panes here. Uh, it's just a, a little cabin, you know, just the, it's that kind of feel with like some uh, mystical lighting features and stuff like that. But it is called Endgame, the Cabin of Wonders. Uh, I actually do plan to upgrade the shop quite a bit in the future uh, if it uh, makes a bunch of diamonds and uh, after we collect some resources. Uh, we're still in very early game as far as resource collection goes. We don't have a lot of cool blocks, but there is a gravel and uh, a sand shop over there, so maybe in the future. Anyways, out front we got the free snacks, oh yeah. Uh, heading inside, we have just a couple things. Uh, we got a nice little table and uh, some lighting features up top, uh, but we're selling all of these blocks, one diamond per stack, uh, so we got a ton in there. Uh, these are gonna be uh, useful if anyone decides to buy the coarse plants, the coarse flowers. Uh, inside, uh, we have all of these for sale. Uh, you don't need a ton, because once you have one, you can kind of make a bunch of them. Uh, we're also selling end rods. Right now they're pretty expensive uh, because there's no end rod farm on the realm, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we're also selling elytra, 25 diamonds or one netherite ingot. So uh, I feel like that's a fair deal in the in the early game. Uh, I know it sounds a little expensive, but uh, we're broke. Uh, so uh, we're also selling two shells for five diamonds. So that's a pretty fair rate, I think. Um, and we have a bunch more shells uh, that we can restock this with. And if we sell out of elytra, we'll just have to head to the end and uh, get some more. But that is going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was a bit of a longer one, but uh, it always takes forever to raid the end. And uh, we got distracted with making new tools and setting up a shop and a bunch of other fun stuff. Uh, but uh, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed, and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed and you're excited to see even more content from the Lavacraftverse, because we put out episodes every single week. Make sure you check out that Moomcraft uh, server series, it's pretty cool. We got a crazy mega base project going on, and we're having some fun on the realms. So, I'll see you next time. That's gonna do it for me today. Bye!